Hello everybody. This is a video response to Ken R.G.'s video, The Future of Video Blogging. And there are some changes. Oh, by the way, Ken, you were uh, drinking coffee and you happened to catch me this morning when I'm making my coffee. But anyway, video, video blogging is... Let me dump the old. I'll be right back. I'm going kind of wash this out a little bit. Some of the old uh, systems that uh, were in effect when uh, YouTube came online have been replaced by a new set of servers called A51 Laser Blade Servers. So the storage problem is no longer a problem. That's really not the reason that uh, things may change to the point to where a fee would be charged YouTubers to place videos. The problem is administrative. They have one of the most sophisticated databases that you can imagine. And when you're dealing in a relational database management system, it's labor intensive. So the cost is not the servers, it's those who maintain the server or those that are programmers that need to write special queries to retrieve the information from a sophisticated database. If you stop and think about it, most of the functions that are going on today are of an admin nature. When you're talking about, uh, make sure this thing is on. When you're talking about uh, maintaining uh, records, especially when you have the partners who are sharing in revenue, a lot of that is labor intensive rather than electronic intensive. That's why I mentioned the A51 laser blade server. Uh, you know, at one time I worked for a company well, I'm trying to give you an example here. I worked for a company. When I went to work for that company in 1984, they had one complete floor of the building devoted to their computer system. The floor was even, even uh, air-conditioned because it was generating so much heat. When I left that company, that complete room could set on a desktop. That's how much power that had been engineered into the new A51 laser blade type servers. So I agree with you Ken, but I think what's going to determine wash this thing out because I had a cup earlier. The thing that's going to dis determine charging for space on YouTube, especially for the partners, will probably be because of the labor cost. But then when you think about it, YouTube was built originally on people like us. And if you take the majority of the people coming into YouTube, they are just normal consumer type people. That's the reason Hulu, and if you'll notice, if you'll go to my profile page, I have a link to one of my websites, and I have been posting Hulu content for several months. So if you'd like to go out and check out Hulu, if you've never seen it, you can go to my profile page and click on my uh, link, my website link, and you'll find several interesting things from Hulu. 
But I think that, um, you know, when you, if you consider the fees that would be charged the partners or those that decided to come into YouTube to place videos, that's minuscule compared with the operating systems and the people who maintain Google and YouTube. So I think that probably YouTube will probably continue as it is because, you know, if, if this uh, video is uh, one gig, I mean, take this right here. This is uh, my wife's storage container here in the kitchen. How many videos do you think that you could put into uh, A51 laser blade server the size of this? It's astronomical. So, if uh, YouTube's admin cost rises, we who are posting videos are just a drop in the bucket. It's all done by revenue that will come from advertisements and also companies who create sites and they want to put their content out there to generate either publicity on movies, television programs, and such. But anyway, that's my uh, response, Ken, to your excellent video. And to show you how an absent-minded uh, person like me works, there is my coffee pot perking. And you know what? I forgot to put this in it, so I've got a mess to clean up.